What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. Today is one of those calm, relaxing days. Getting ready for this like partial solar eclipse that we're about to have here in Los Angeles in about like an hour or so, something like that. What I'm doing is, is I'm making like my pre-bedtime tea, right? And I, I've kind of found the right companies to go with for each specific item. What it basically is, is it's a combination of lavender, hibiscus, and chamomile. Very calming, comforting, warming, relaxing. You kind of get the idea. Sometimes I'll drink it warm. Sometimes I'll drink it hot. Sometimes I'll drink it cold. But usually what I'll do is I'll do it like as a simple syrup. So it's great to add in with like your favorite beverage, elixir, tonic, libation, you know, whatever. You can kind of, you kind of use it for everything. And then if you just want to do it as a tea, I don't put the sugar in. I just kind of just mix it up and then just drink it as is. But anyways, let's talk about what's in here. So it took me a while to find these companies and these companies are specific to each thing. So maybe you like Anthony's and you want to use that for everything. Sure, go for it. I'm just saying I tried to find the highest quality at the lowest price and there was three different companies that, that did it for me. So Davidson's, this is what the bag looks like. Pretty huge bag. You do get a lot in here. I'll put a link down below in the description to all this stuff, by the way. So when you look in here, that's basically the whole chamomile flowers that have been dried. Resealable bag, love that. It's also lined with this nice material. I don't know if that's mylar or something similar, but great stuff. It reseals on this smell. Oh, it's amazing. When I reseal this, one tip or trick I'll tell everybody is I try to roll it to roll all the air out and then seal it so it gets sealed. And then I put this into like a cabinet, you know, in my kitchen or whatever, somewhere away from sunlight. Just let it kind of sit for the next time I need it. Okay, Hibiscus. This is Anthony's, another great company, Organic. I'm not being sponsored by either of these, or either of these, by the way. So if they're watching this video and they want to hook me up, hey, I would love to get some free product and talk to you about that. But I had to buy all this stuff on my own for now. Okay, so here's Anthony's. This is their cut sifted hibiscus flower. That's what it looks like inside of the packaging. It's a very deep, 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 dark burgundy maroon color like a nice red like once you put this in water it just blooms like bright bright red anyways here's the lavender this was the best bang that for the buck that i could find this is like obviously naturally dried highland grow lavender buds right premium grade very important to me that i got the best quality i could find which was the premium grade you do get a lot like in each pouch there's five ounces sometimes they have sales where if you buy two you get like more of a discount so check that out and then what i usually do another tip is like on amazon for instance i'll put a link down below what i do is i just leave it in the cart and just leave it there and then what i'll do is i'll put save for later and when i notice that it's gone on sale then boom i'll move it over to the cart and then buy it but that's what it looks like inside the pouch so you do get a lot in there this is what they look like in real life so there's your lavender on the left there's your hibiscus up top, right? And then there's your chamomile flower right there. What I'll usually do is to make this simple syrup, like beverage that I make, what I'll do is I'll put 500 grams of water. I try to use filtered water, which is important because tap water just has chlorine. It has a lot of bad stuff in it that would ruin the delicacy of what's going on here. Like the delicateness, is that the right word? of what's going on here. So I try to use like a water drop filter. I'll put a link down below in the description, all the good stuff. And then depending on who it's for, sometimes I'll use sugar or I'll use allulose. Allulose, allulose, right? Allulose is a, is a sugar substitute that I like because it doesn't have a chemical aftertaste and it acts and performs just like sugar and you don't need as much of it. So let's say, let's say the ratio is 500 grams of filtered water 250 to 500 grams of sugar depending on like how strong or thin i want that simple syrup to be if i'm going to use the allulose instead of the sugar i'll only use like 50 percent of it so let's say it's 500 grams of water 250 grams of sugar what i would do is if i'm not using the sugar i'll use like 125 grams of the allulose so it would be 500 grams of water 125 grams of the allulose you get the same sweetness but you, you use less product. So there you go. So there's that. So anyways, all these things go into like one of these suckers. I've been trying to find a good one that's made out of stainless steel. This one happens to be aluminum. And I'm trying to stay away from aluminum, especially when you're boiling it. So, but basically it's a screw on cap. You screw it on, you know, you kind of get the idea. I'll put links down below to the stainless steel versions of this that I find that are better. 
Uh, worst case scenario, you can always just boil it as is and then and then filter it off, right? Or strain it off with like one of these strainers. You kind of get the idea. And so all that goes into one of these. This is a four quart all clad saucepan. I've kind of started the process here. I've got my water in there and the sweetener. So what I'll do is I'll add in the, you know, the herbs and spice, the chamomile, the hibiscus and the lavender, put it in there, turn it to like somewhere between medium and low, cover it with the lid and just let it go for like 10 minutes and then shut off the heat and just let it steep like the whole day, like pretty much eight hours, eight to 12 hours, the longer, the better. And what I'm looking for or waiting for is I want this to come back down to room temperature. So once it hits between like 68, 72 degrees, then what I'll do is I'll put it into one of these ball 64 ounce jars and, you know, cover it with the lid, put this in the fridge. You got to keep it in the fridge. So keep it in the refrigerator for maybe like a week or so, just to kind of help it to mingle and merge and whatever. And then after a week, what I can do is I can just tablespoon off however much I need or like or whatever. So use measuring spoons. You know, these are your friend too as well. The blend here, by the way, is just one teaspoon of each. So one teaspoon of lavender, one teaspoon of hibiscus, one teaspoon of chamomile. It's a very calming, relaxing tea or simple syrup blend. You could also spoon that into like your favorite beverage if you want to do that. Put it into like a squirt bottle or you could put it into one of those dropper thingamajiggies. You know, if you want to like add it to a beverage or a cocktail libation, you kind of get the idea. I'm not endorsing drinking anyway, but you know, to each their own. Another thing, let's say you wanted to make a more potent, stronger version of this, right? That is like on the alcohol side of the spectrum. Like I said, I'm no expert. I'm not a bartender. I'm not claiming to be one. I'm just showing you some of the things that I've done in the past. What you could do is instead of using water and sugar, you could use like a really high grain alcohol, something like Everclear, you know, you kind of get the vibe and you could just put it, you could put your high grain alcohol into the jar and then just put your blend of whatever you like to use the, the lavender, the hibiscus or the chamomile, just put that in there and just let it, put it in the fridge and just let it go for like a week or two weeks and then you could spoon it off strain it make sure you strain it obviously you might need a bigger strainer from one jar to another you kind of get the idea just cover it make sure you use the lid right make sure you use the lids and the all that good stuff and all that good stuff you kind of get the idea okay another idea let's say you wanted to spice this up if you are going to use that's why i have this out there if you are going to use something like cinnamon try to use the whole cinnamon right because the powder if you do use powder, what I do is I put the powder in at like the very last minute before serving, before putting it into a glass and actually drinking it into a mug or a cup or whatever. If you try to put the powder in when you're doing the infusion, what happens is, is the powder gets really gummy and clumpy and turns into like this thick paste. So don't do that. If you are going to use cinnamon for the infusion process, use the whole cinnamon sticks like if you can and like one stick goes a long way you might just need half of one of the cinnamon sticks to kind of get the same effect but anthony's makes makes them both they make the powder version they also make the stick version davidson's i believe also does the same you'll have to kind of shop around and check out those links in the description there down below and kind of see what works best for you if you really want to go nuts and make all this in a different way and and spike it in a different way you can always add like black peppercorns. This company I found makes the best black peppercorn, like highest quality, lowest price that I found anyway. This is premium. This is the Telecherry, right? Peppercorns. You could also do something like, what was this? This was mulling spices, right? So you can kind of use those in there if you want to really go like warm, cozy, holiday kind of vibe. Allspice is another one. You know, you can kind of go that realm. I'll put links below to those as well and some other stuff like lemon granules and if you want to use other roots and spices, that kind of stuff. By the way, one quick tip before I let everybody go. Quinotto, Italian Quinotto, right? That that beverage that kind of like it's like Italy's version of like a soda. Their prices are just insane. Like one little 6.9 ounce bottle of Quinotto is upwards of five, six dollars at like the Italian grocery. I kind of found and modified a recipe that I will be showing you all soon. So stay tuned for that. 
And it's basically the equivalent of like a bitter drink. Like imagine like a cola drink with like a little bit of a bitter twist to it that isn't as sweet as say the United States or the American versions of colas. So pretty simple ingredients, pretty easy to find and source. I'll be showing you that in a future video coming soon. So anyways, with that being said, if you like what you're seeing here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down there below. I put links to a lot of this stuff down in the description. Make sure to check that out. For the purposes of this video, just to quickly recap, it's one teaspoon of lavender, hibiscus, and chamomile, 500 grams of water, 250 grams of sugar. All that goes into a saucepan, cover it, turn on the heat between medium and low, let it go for about 10 minutes, shut off the heat, let it sit for like eight to 12 hours, let it just come back down to room temperature, pour all that through a strainer, make sure you strain it. Like even if you are using one of these, you get little bits that start floating everywhere, but pour all that into a mason jar of some kind or some kind of jar that you can put in the fridge for about a week. And after a week, the flavors are just so intense. What you do then is when you're ready to serve it, get yourself a glass or a mug or whatever, put in as much as you like. Maybe you want like one teaspoon, one tablespoon, two tablespoons, however much you think you need like for flavor and whatever. Mix in with your water, hopefully you're using filtered water, and then you could either nuke it in the microwave to warm it back up. You could put it back into one, like a smaller version of one of these to warm it up, whatever you wanna do. If you're gonna be using it in a drink or a libation or a beverage, You'll, you'll have to experiment. You have to see what works for you, what flavor profile. Usually about one teaspoon, right? Like a teaspoon, even like a half teaspoon is like enough. And then if you just want to drink it straight away, hibiscus, lavender, chamomile without the sugar, what you could do is just one teaspoon of each, put it into your pot with your filtered water, let it come up to a boil or simmer, whatever you like. And then you have enough for at least, I would say 500 milligrams of water is somewhere around like right here. 500 grams of water is like around right here. So maybe that's about like two cups, maybe three cups worth. So that kind of gives you an idea. Anyways, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm the old coot and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.